Following the tragic drowning incident on the Sosdag Linden Highway on Sunday, which claimed the lives of 10-year-old Akira Rose and 11-year-old Jordan Jack, an emergency meeting was convened on Tuesday involving key government officials and agencies to address safety concerns at creeks and waterways. The meeting was attended by Minister of Culture, Youth and Sport, Charles Ramson, Minister of Home Affairs, Robson Ben, Permanent Secretary of the Ministry of Tourism, Industry and Commerce, Sharon Rupchand Edwards, Director of the Ghana Tourism Authority, GTA, Kamrul Bashk, and representatives from the Environmental Protection Agency, Maritime Administration, and the Ministry of Labor. The meeting focused on immediately addressing medium-term concerns surrounding safety protocols with the proprietors of creeks and operators of water-based activities. During the meeting, it was announced that a task force will be established within a week, which would ensure that proprietors and operators are in full compliance with the mandated safety regulations and alignment with best practices. The task force comprising representatives from the relevant government ministries and agencies, the private sector, and other relevant stakeholders, and will immediately review and enforce safety standards, including mandatory signage, the presence of lifeguards, and enhancing human capacity and emergency response plans at these popular recreational spots. Home Affairs Minister Robson Ben underscored the dire need to improve the culture of safety in Guyana and the government's non-tolerance stance on persons who consistently flaunt the law. He further suggested that depth gauge and life rings be installed at these sites by the weekend. Last Sunday, 10-year-old Akira Rose and her 11-year-old cousin, Joylin Jack, drowned during an outing at Enchanter Creek along the Suzak Linden Highway. According to the police, the girls were with their family members celebrating the Rose's 10th birthday. It is alleged that the two girls were playing in the water and were later discovered missing. An alarm was raised and a search party was formed and the two girls were found in the water unresponsive. They were rushed to the Diamond Diagnostic Center by police and public-spirited citizens, but despite effort to revive them, both were pronounced dead on arrival at the medical facility. Tianoko reporting for the AHGP Nightly News.